Oh, hey, what's up, Soap Top? It's Burrito and Taco months and months later again for our podcast just because, you know, Thanksgiving we decided to because we're bored. Yeah. We we suck at our job of yeah. trying to stay, you know, relevant for you people, but we so, don't care. We don't have uh, Tamale here right now. He's trying to get away from family. And they're pinning him there. They're they're just at, oh okay never mind uh, I can't say those two words uh they're doing something to him that he should not quite like <laughs> <laughs> out of context <laughs> uh continuing with our podcast uh I got tattoos all right yeah, you do back to burrito <laughs> what tattoos you got you got the one on your hand I got the one on my hand it's a pyramid with an alien ship taking the top of it and then. <laughs> I got one on my stomach. It's a skull. Then I got another one on my uh, collarbone. There are three crosses. That was your first one, wasn't it? Yeah. That three crosses. Were you were 18. First. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I thought about getting that same one that you have on your on your collarbone. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Did you get that one from your brother, too? I got all of them from my brother. Nice. N- never got a professional be done yet. Yeah, the only thing that changed about me is... I don't know, got bigger, got fat, one of the two. You did get bigger. I did. <laughs> you chunky as hell, boy. <laughs> you don't look the same. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I don't remember what I was last podcast, but I know i gotten heavier because they want me to go up higher for wrestling. I'm trying. I, I, can, I can only gain so much <laughs> from metabolism. All right. Before we continue trying to catch up with you guys, telling you about us, what happened to your knuckles, Burrito? Oh, okay. So this is actually kind of a a depressing thing. So, fuck, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not in that mood. So it's, it's going to be really hard to explain it to make sense. Just do your best. No one cares. So, so pretty much, I was, at, I was at a point where I felt to myself, and this was a, like some bad shit happened with like some uh a friend of mine like he got he had a girlfriend for a while he um some stuff happened we were separated for a while um to us we believe that he chose her over us for a lot of the time and then we were pissed about it and then she heavily broke up with him by saying she was already dating another guy and that he was just almost like a rebound ah uh, he was already dating that guy but because but he went to boot camp so yeah he he went to boot camp for the marines so and she would i don't know what her deal was to go with uh my friend but <laughs> we'll say john doe that's john doe all right john, john doe was my friend yeah so it's just, so john pretty much got into a tough shit like he yeah uh, he already has some like kind of like social anxiety a bit he has a bunch of different mental illnesses he went and got that checked he went and at a mental hospital stayed there for mm-hmm. about a week or I more see, i see and he's doing good now. He's doing really well. He's pretty much back to how he was. He had some surgeries in between. And then with all that, like, it all built up. And he was just completely depressed. But, I mean, I wasn't mad for long because I really didn't care. But a lot of, like, the arguing from, like, my other friends. Because they were really pissed. Um, and, like, it kind of rubbed off on me. But then my buddy got to the point where, because we wouldn't answer him, we wouldn't talk to him. we just completely just disown him. And he got to the point where he was really getting down low and low and low. And I was like, and he was starting to talk shit about himself again. And I was like, I, I can't, no, I, I'm not going to live the rest of my life knowing I could change the outcome of my best friend killing himself. So I said, so I said some stuff to try to get back into it. I was like, nah, dude, I can't, nah, I, it ain't no problem. I, I, said, I said my stuff and then we finally got good again. And I was like, oh my God, the deep breath. Like I was pacing back and forth, but there's a there, there, there's a lot about um i'll say in my life there's a lot about me that like i feel like i'm on my own for because like a lot of people see me as like almost like a saint like i've always viewed that like people see me as a saint because you know i have good grades i do my, i make good choices this and that so like i've i always felt like people saw me that way but that's not who i really am like people say like i didn't expect you to be this way when i do like, like for example like vaping or something yeah or like yeah. drinking like everyone always it's so weird. It's like, it's not me. Why do you guys always think that way? Or like, 
Well, when you're with me, you you're not a saint, no matter what. <laughs> no, like, yeah. when we're together, you're not a saint, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. There's a lot of like I felt people expected things of me, and like they they expect me to live up to certain ways. I was like, no, that's just not me. Like, and I you know how much I hate being judged when I'm not. Yeah. Especially when it's not true, and I'd get that all the time. And then also like for like everything I want to do and everything like I don't feel like I have the support, and I felt like I was on my own all the time. And then, like, um, over the years, like, I've done a lot of, I've done a lot of things to help other people. Like, I've never much thought of myself. So, like, I was, I've, I've always helped people. I've always did this and that. And then, like, anything that happened, like, because I taught myself to, um, like, hold in any anger I had because I always had anger issues. And over time, all the sadness, the stress, the, uh, the rage, whatever, it, it built up. So then, eventually, I got to the point where, like, all this step stuff is starting to just make me freak out and i really wanted to i don't know i, I got to the point where i became almost a masochist because I, I wanted to feel pain oh, physically like i, I, I didn't, didn't want to cut myself or anything and i wasn't i can't say that i was sad because i'm living just fine i was then still am now but just more or less like it's almost like a challenging thought like i want to i want to take it just because i want to feel it and because i want to like it this and that whatever and i got to the point where i finally i just got fed up and this happened two days the first day um i pretty much i hit my heavy bag without gloves all the time as much as i could for about a half hour straight so that kind of started it a little bit and it wasn't so bad on my knuckles but then the next time which was either a day or two later i don't remember i really got fed up so i tried to hit anything that would be sharp so i hit the heavy bag i hit the zipper on top of it a lot as much as i could and I forget what else I hit, but I pretty much went. My knuckles were, they were bleeding. They were dripping this and they hurt a lot too. I was, I was so pissed, but I finally got that let out. But I'm doing fine now. They're almost healed. <laughs> True. But yeah, I just, I, even now I still feel like I'm on my own and I'm still trying to work it out. Cause like, I'm like, I don't like, I don't hang out with my friends as much. I mean, I do here and there, but I don't feel like they're like quote unquote there for me. Because as friends, they're there for me, but it just doesn't feel like the the support that I would want or need or this and that. It's hard to explain, but no, I, I we get what you're trying to get at, and uh, that's a reminder for you people: check on your homies, check on your friends, family. It doesn't matter who they are; yeah, just check got, on them. We got a problem going on with uh, another friend of ours too. He's we'll call him that, but he's. He's in. He, he's been in rough shape. He hasn't been in school for a few weeks, and we don't know what what's happened to him or if anything's happened to him. But he pretty much he woke up one day and he just felt like he didn't want to get up. He didn't want to do anything. He got. He just hit the depression hard, and it's. We've been trying to do what we can to keep him up and everything, but we haven't talked to him in forever now. And he hasn't been to school for a few weeks, so we don't know if he did do anything or not. So that's another thing that's been hitting. So that's like. Then another friend of mine from the same group, uh, a while ago actually, um, had a like rough breakup. Over I don't remember what it was over, but like he was he was he was in rough shape. So we we he, we all went to uh, got together. So that helped a bit. And then they they figured things out and they're happy again. It was just some stupid thing, but man, it seems like the seasonal depression's hitting everyone all of a sudden. It's true. It happens, but you just gotta see what happens i mean some say i should just get a girlfriend but yeah you should <laughs> but you're a saint remember oh yeah saint no you you don't drink you don't do that I don't no, no 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 you don't do that no, you're I a saint don't. you're a saint yeah. i eat my vegetables okay shut up <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah that's what happened to my knuckles yeah now they're pretty much healed thankfully can i bloody them again <laughs> just start punching your knuckles. <laughs> Play the game of bloody knuckles. <laughs> so I recently, I haven't really been doing much besides gaming and work. So nothing's really new for me, I guess I would say. Uh, I do have my girlfriend here. She is with me. That is probably one of the best things that has happened to me. I think it's, the and only... that is one thing that I wanted to talk about is how I have my girlfriend. She's amazing, and she, I don't know. I like I kind of like hated myself before, mm-hmm. and then I got her and everything. So yeah, that that's also very new. 
uh, knowing that the podcast hasn't heard us in forever. <laughs> I also didn't even make it through school like we were talking about before, but I'm like one test away from a GED. My job still sucks. I hate my job. Ah, that's acceptable. <laughs> uh, and we're still trying to get Tamale on here, but Tamale has also been very busy and he's also going through some things. I can't get into detail, but just yeah. know that's Typical what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta say though, I think this is the first of your girlfriends I've met in the last forever. Forever. I yeah. haven't met any of your what we call Julia's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Julia one you've never met. Julia two you never met. Julia three you said hi to, but that was over the phone. Yeah. And then Julia four. I think there was a fourth one. I think there was you talked about. Yeah, but she didn't last long, so yeah, it didn't really did. matter about her. <laughs> this is the first girl girlfriend you've met in person. Mm-hmm. This is also my first girlfriend that. I've actually been with for a long time. Didn't get cheated on. It's the most serious one that I've, that I've heard of, seen. Yeah, exactly. The other ones were just like, oh, hey, he's just another rebound. <laughs> like, I just got through a big breakup. I need you for like a couple weeks, months. Dead ass. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I've never seen you rocking like a stash. Looks a like full stash? Looks like you're rocking a little Mexican stash coming yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> I do got a full stash. It's kind of sad. I can't grow a beard. So I got to keep the stash going. I have going. to shave this. But I really don't want to. I look like a fucking baby. You are a baby. Yeah. I'm white. Get rid of your acne. <laughs> oh, I fucking wish, dude. <laughs> dude. I probably have like a full beard by now if I didn't have all this acne. Probably. Oh, it pisses me off. And then there's me who's been trying to grow a beard for years. Never shaved. <laughs> yeah. No, just got so, a mustache. A buddy of mine made a, made a comment last time I was over. I was talking about like because I was looking at he has a mirror like right behind his couch in his living room. We've seen it. Yeah. In that room. Yeah, I remember. I was looking at how bad my act is. Like you can't have a body like that and expect to be pretty. Come on. True. <laughs> True. I'm over here like I'm fucking like beer belly and everything, and I got a sexy face, but like <laughs> I got the vice versa. You it's got. Like, I mean, they say opposites attract. Right? True. True. You white, I'm brown, opposite. <laughs> you know, I gotta say though, um, I'm saying this on record for Stovetop and in the room that I have all my friends, but I don't think anyone's ever been there for me as much as Taco has been. Uh, it's because we family. Yes. We're a family before like we even Dominic, became family. Like Dominic Toretto, I am thankful for my family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hate that so much. Like, I get it. It's part of the movie, but I hate that. I never watched the movie, and like people always talk about like, it became a big meme. Well, yeah, it's all about family. family. <laughs> like, we about to destroy this world with a spaceship, but we can stop it because we got family. <laughs> like, it's so stupid. I hate that. Yeah, the Nazis are invading. But they don't have family. Yeah, but they don't got family. Like, we can win. Like, it's so stupid. I hate the series of that. <laughs> oh, why would you... Sh- okay, we got to pop that up so that everyone can see it. It's so stupid. You need Toby and Andrew. This is a picture of the new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Where um, you have Sandman, you have Lizard lunging out um, towards the end of the trailer. <laughs> and when Lizard's lunging out, they just uh, edited in a car and then Dominic Toretto jumping out of the car after the Lizard. And the caption is, you don't need Toby and Andrew if you've got family. It's so stupid. I hate the meme. I, I've i always hated that meme. The one meme I hate the most right now is the rock song. It's about oh, yeah. drive. It's about power. I've been jokes about that at practice. I hate, I hate that song so much. I even, okay, <laughs> I, I made a different account for Instagram and I got a lot of followers on it, blah, blah, blah. I needed that so I could at least be seen. I hit up the rocks account. And I told him to delete the fucking song. I told him, get rid of it. Get rid of it. I don't want to hear it anymore. It's so stupid. You <laughs> suck at making music. I only did that so he can at least, you know, kind of delete that one song and to make a better and newer one. So, like, oh, my God, I hate that song. The song would have been fine because it's a Tech 9 song. The song was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But if people didn't fucking put it out like they did, oh, yeah, my God. Like, I like the beginning of it and everything. And, yeah, when I first heard it, my first time ever hearing it, it was actually really good. I'm not going to lie, but then it started becoming a meme where it's, it's about drive, it's about power, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, nah, I'm, so, done. I'm done. This is a funny story because I make that all the time at practice. I was, uh, I had my practice partner 
and we were doing um, like high season stuff. We were just getting some practicing on them, which or double legs, I guess you could say. Oh shit! And but uh, shooting uh, he doesn't like to shoot that kind of stuff. He's more for like the sweep singles, the outside singles and stuff. Yeah. And he was, he was having a bit of trouble because he doesn't do them. He doesn't like to do them. Oh, he's about to run. <laughs> and he forgot. He's like, oh man, I hate doing these. Like, come on, man, it's about dry. <laughs> it's about yeah, dry. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the one meme I hate the most. It's, it's the most annoying right now. Thing with the, oh no, our oh, cable, cable, it's broken. I hate that it's one too. Broken. That one pisses me off so much. I'll do that to people when they say, oh no. <laughs> I'll just say that. It's our cable. Like, I get it. It's funny. Like, the first couple times, it's funny, sure. But after it becomes over excessive, then it's like, get rid of it. Like, every one of them, I've never seen one that was actually funny. It was just people like, Lyricking over it, yeah, or like um, mumbling over it, whatever you call it. <laughs> lip sync, lip syncing, yeah. It's so, stupid. it's so I hate it. I hate all of it. I I'm like these memes. It's so stupid. Like when they get used over and over and over again, that's it's to the point where I'm just like I'm never gonna listen to that. The only reason I go on TikTok is how to find some funny shit. It's like, I don't care about this stupid trending shit. I just want something funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and every time, it's always like, I get at least 30 of them. Of, like, the trending stuff that I don't want to see anymore. True. You True. can't dislike. You can only like. And keep going. Or block them. Yeah. Okay. And it's also stupid that TikTok... The, okay, I want to talk about TikTok real quick. Oh, boy. All right. You go on TikTok... You get these for you page things, whatever, and it's just whatever you liked, and it just brings it up, whatever. There was death. Like, I watched a person get shot on my TikTok. Mm -hmm, me too. Guidelines didn't take it down. There was a naked bitch on my TikTok. Like, actually naked. I was like, oh my god. And like, I swiped and it was like, is this uh, video uh, like helpful? Yes. And I said no. <laughs> it was like, well, for you, yeah. But like, it was annoying, and I keep getting these. So there can be naked bitches, people dying, and like, like uh, false information from news. Yeah. And they won't get rid of that. One of my favorite people I listen to on TikTok, he's straight up about everything. He doesn't care about what he says, and you know, that's yeah. just how he is. He's actually funny, but he'll also keep it PG if he has to. His entire account got banned. For oh, one small comment? From one comment. You yeah. know what that comment was? What? It was about Kyle Rittenhouse. Wow. He was saying that. <laughs> he even said, in my opinion, my opinion. Remember, your opinion is something that no one can change. You have a freedom of speech. You have a freedom right of speech. speech. <laughs> exactly. He said he doesn't believe Kyle Rittenhouse is guilty. Neither do I. I don't think he's guilty. It was all in self-defense. No, Whatever. Exactly. Just, I'm, I don't want to get into yeah, that. Yeah, well, yeah, don't. I, I'm not going to get into yeah, that because people have their own preferences and everything. But he said, in my opinion, it's not guilty. He's not guilty. He got banned because of that. And then you swipe on your For You page and there's a girl butt-ass naked just dancing. And it's like, oh, TikTok did he. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't get that. It's like the people that go over the top are fine. But people who just barely break the ice are the people who just, no, nah, you can't be here. Yeah. <laughs> like you you can there's uh there's part of tiktok you can find and it's just people getting murdered pretty much you can watch people get beheaded get shot blah 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 and it's really messed up like i don't know how i got onto it because i i watch a lot of military tiktoks and like construction tiktoks yeah but i got onto this murder tiktok and then i was like why how 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 has TikTok not banned these people? How has TikTok not removed their accounts or videos? Oh well, yeah. It's because they have one million followers. And they're verified. Yeah. But then there's like... Uh, Boy of Uke. I love his music. Yeah. He's not even verified. And he makes music. Yeah. It's a lot of people who have millions of followers on like any platform that aren't verified so stupid i hate i hate tiktok it's stupid i only watch it for memes or yeah. for music that's the only reason i use social media in general like i don't post shit i just 
except for YouTube. Like, I mean, we got this. Yeah, uh, that's on my that's account. Different. I don't post anymore. Like, I wanted to for a while. I wanted to get. I wanted to make content because I liked making stuff, and I like making people laugh. Still do. Oh and yeah. And I like I like to see feedback, and I like to communicate with others, and have like a nice little community that's just fun. So I wanted to start a channel. And I tried, and I mean, I did decent, but I I just couldn't do it. I got busy, and I had other stuff. And that's that's why I have a lot of respect for YouTubers because it's it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, like on my on my actual account, I don't post anymore. I just watch YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube and listen to a lot of music. True, true. <laughs> Music's gotten me through everything. But I don't. I literally only use the other. Like I don't use Twitter. I I deleted Instagram. I don't have Twitter. Or I did at one point, but that was just to keep up with like my YouTube. Yeah. Like see if they have new videos or if they're starting their Twitch. Uh. Instagram, I just, I only follow people who follow me, so it's like, yeah. whatever. And I barely even use Snapchat, like, I'm barely I used on to that. communicate, or send snaps. Yeah. You send me so much stupid shit, I swear <laughs> to God. Yeah. I'll be trying to have a normal conversation with him, and all I hear, like, he sends me a meme. And it's like, come on, bro, like, say hi. <laughs> yeah, my buddy sends us the most cursed shit. And I had to keep up, so I had to, I have a lot of stuff I don't even want to look at on my computer right now. So I had to find like I have to respond. Like I can't just take this from him. Yeah, <laughs> he sent me the dumbest stuff. <laughs> or like when we're having a normal conversation, and then out of the blue, you're like, "You want to see a walrus do sit up?" <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Sure." I think he's the only person that can give me a good response to that kind of stuff. <laughs> you want to see a walrus do sit ups? And I was like, yeah, why not? That's, that's, like, that's, that's about as random as, like, your hand tattoo. Yeah, that's okay. Good, like, <laughs> I don't... Okay, so, a little story. Like, a little story time behind my hand tattoo. Um, I have a lot of self-inflicted scars. And uh, it was from knives. I, I would cut my hand here and there. So, I wanted to cover that. So, I got this pyramid with an alien ship that's uh and there's only like three scars that you can see on that hand now which is nice yeah there's a friend of mine who did the same thing i'm not gonna say who but he had all of his arm yeah he told me it was a work accident but it wasn't <laughs> yeah we all have them stories like oh i i was on a tree and i slipped down you know i know i saved it somewhere i'm gonna find it but he he got a he got a big tattoo on his arm from um the same person that I'm probably gonna get a tattoo from if I get a tattoo. Let's see if I can find it. I mean, it was, it's really cool. He got a rose, but he filled up his completely his arm. Oh shit, there's a lot of Twitter to eventually. <laughs> Come on. No, no, we're no. waiting. We're no, waiting. No, no. Like, you're just making us go silent. We're waiting uh, for you to find the it. The only picture I can see is this one. Ah, why? No, stop. Stop. <laughs> uh, 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 Pod, uh, my stovetop friends, don't worry about that. What are you, bruh? Okay. <laughs> but, uh, stovetop, we can't send these photos, but if you'd like, join our Discord and we can show you them. Oh yeah, you you wanna what's the what's the Discord? Uh <laughs> we can put it in the description because I can actually yeah no I'll say it anyways. Uh DJ Baby Dick server. What the hell is that? Don't worry about it, podcast. You find out. You just guys gotta listen. I've seen that one before. So many of these. Oh, that was way before he sent me the Oh, these are ones I thought about getting. From DMC. Oh that shit. one. I was gonna do something like this because it's smaller. Not on my forearm, maybe or not. But this is both of them, Dante and Virgil. That was a couple ideas. Where the hell is it? Oh, speaking of games, because you said you might get like the DMC or whatever. I have DMC five. Well, no, I no no. I'm talking about oh, the this, tattoos. Okay, yeah. If we're speaking of games right now, Battlefield 2042. I have a PlayStation Four. And an Xbox One right now. Which is burritos. But I still have it. I got Battlefield 2042 for the uh, PS4. That looks beautiful yeah, you actually. You see a little bit of a scar there. Yeah. But you gotta cover those just after it got done. 
But uh, I got it. It's so laggy and crappy and stupid. It's like Vanguard. Is that what you're talking about? No, no, Battlefield. no. I'm talking about Battlefield 2042. It's like it is. I I get it for the PS5, uh, uh, PC and um Xbox Series X. The graphics are way better on there. But why didn't they do the same for fucking PS4 and Xbox One? Old gen, baby. Yeah, like I, I only That's, play on those. I'll think of Cyberpunk too. Well, before before I get to that part, Battlefield Twenty Forty Two is now the worst ever rated game right now. Really? Yeah, it's that bad. It's it's not that good. I I I love Battlefield. Cool Don't concept, wrong. but they could have done better or at least waited. Yeah, I feel like they could have done a lot more, fixed more of the bugs because every time I join in a match. It's just laggy as hell. It's like the graphics. I don't render in. There's times I fell through the map out of nowhere. Yeah. That's what I hate like the most. But otherwise, after like a couple minutes, everything will go back to normal. And it's pretty fun. Yeah. If if it works. <laughs> well, yeah, when it does work, of yeah. course. That's, yeah, that's kind of like the same thing with Cyberpunk. I love the game. It's probably my favorite game, if not one of them. Um, Cyberpunk 2077, 2077, it got delayed a bunch of times because of COVID, because these guys are working from their own house, um, in, like, small groups to try to get it done, and this is a big game, like, normally you have, like, an entire industry working on it. Oh, yeah. But they were working, like, they were working their butt off trying to get it, then, like, people were making threats, they were saying all this stuff, like, if they delayed it again, and because they, because of the media, they couldn't delay it again, they had, I mean, they had to post something because it's been, like, eight years since they posted their teaser. Yeah. But, so they finally got the game out, and, oh, what a surprise. It was laggy, it had some issues, they had some patches they needed to do, mm -hmm. and some people had some trouble, so now the game is rated lower than it should have been. Like, I would have been fine if it got delayed again, because I wanted it to be good, because it was a big game. Yeah, like, I definitely would have been, like, as much as I hate when they say they have to delay a game, I understand why they do it. It's because they have yes. to try and fix bugs, they have to try and fix, you know, the lag, the servers, blah, blah, blah. And I'm totally cool with it. Yeah, it kind of makes me mad here and there, but it's like, they're just trying to make it better. They're trying to make it work. Like, it's a lot of work, especially a game that big. I mean, I had having it on my PC, I didn't have much problem, if at all. Maybe it crashed once or twice before the day one patch. But then after that, it, I was just fine throughout the entire game. I didn't have almost any problems. I mean, yeah, and some people, like my brother, plays on Xbox One. Yeah. Which is now, like, an older gen. And... He had no problems at all. Some people had problems, some people didn't, but like <laughs> it's a good game, but people just completely ruined its potential. Definitely. It's kind of sad that they do that. Like, I get it, people need like wanna play the game, but just don't rush it. Like, come on. Yeah, it's it, the media is like the biggest problem with everything right now. We could have a long story about that. Yeah, we could, but Yeah. I don't want to get into it because then we'll be canceled, I guess is what they call it. Yeah, we're, we're technically supposed to be <laughs> Thanksgiving at your place, man. But yeah, yeah, I know, I, I know. Forgot about that. Don't worry about that part. No one cares. <laughs> uh, it's quieter here. It's definitely quieter. It's, nobody. it's nicer. I, I'm not going to lie. I honestly did not want to go to Thanksgiving. Me neither. The only reason I went is because you were going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> After you texted me, I was like, Fuck it. <laughs> like, might as well. I really wanted to sleep. I'm so sore. I'm not as bad now, I'm better, but... Man, just to relax in my bed and, like... When you can get a moment where you can close your eyes without actually falling asleep, that's how you know you're, like, it's good. Yeah, and then there's me who can't sleep at night for some reason. I, mean, I have to force... Like, I had to wake up at 4.30 in the morning last night, or yesterday... I had to wake up at 4.30 because we had morning practice. At what time? Well, I mean, practice started at 6, but we needed to be there by like 5.30, 5.45. That's stupid. And oh, I yeah. Need, you I need to get time for my car to warm up and then get ready this and that. <laughs> so I was up at 4.30. I was there at 5.30 because I needed to get into the school. And coach is usually there around that time so I can get there as soon as possible. And I went through wrestling practice. And it wasn't a typical morning practice where it's technique. Yeah. It was an actual practice at 6 in the morning. So, it was only an hour and a half, not two hours, thankfully. Which is nice, yeah. But it was, like, hard cardio work. It was, like, the normal, regular practice. 
And after that, I had to sit through school. That's when you, we were texting each other. Oh, really? I had an open oh. first hour. Oh, okay, okay. I, but you were probably busy, so we couldn't get an actual... <laughs> well, the, the morning that I was texting you is because I just wanted to see where you're up to because I I was, I was had, like, time before I had to go to work. Yeah. So I was like, I was wondering if you wanted to come over and chill with me for a couple minutes. Fuck, I could have. You could have. Yeah. I, I had first hour... I have first hour open, so I have till 9 o'clock before I actually have to be in my in the class. Yeah. And then on normal weeks, it's Wednesdays. I don't have to be there till, like, 10. Oh, I see. Because, like, it's, we do block days, so we have, like, odd classes and even classes, hour and a half class. I don't week. got class. <laughs> yeah, you got work. Yeah. That'd be nice. I'm setting rafters. Setting rafters? Yeah. You know what I'm doing right now? Work. I mean, I'm working at Dynamic, but because I'm floating everywhere, I'm doing a bit of everything. Oh, and I'm I only see. There. I'm there for a couple hours because internship, because school's making me. But I'm building, like, cabinets and shit. Well, I'm not building cabinets, but like I'm doing yeah, the building. I'm putting doors in, yeah. that kind of thing. But the cabinets are like pre-built by a company because that's like an entire operation in itself. Yeah. But that's what I've been doing the last three days. Is Just assembly work boring. pretty much. A lot of walking. My legs are already sore. Because I have... Or I'll just continue where I was. I was practice and then school. The last class I have for school is fifth hour, which is weight training. I don't take that lightly. I go, I go hard on weight training because that's like my, my weight training. Yeah. And I had weight training where I worked whatever I could. And then I go to dynamic for work and then I go home. But luckily I didn't have another practice. Good man, that would have sucked. Like first practice, I worked legs. Well, no, I tried to work full body on my workout, but I didn't have enough time. So it was literally just the hard work on my legs. Mm. And then it was wrestling practice for the first day. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 I got a story. Let's go. This is a story. So, I was at my girlfriend's. And me. I still have my cold cough. Well, quit it. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to tell a story. What? It's a, it's a good story. It's pretty I'm funny. Good. I'm good. Well, so, her dad didn't want anyone over. And. He, he, uh, goes, she lives by herself, but they, like, live on the same property, pretty much. Yeah. So, I'm in the room, the door is locked, she's outside the room, whatever, and I, like, I can hear them, you know, arguing, I guess, pretty much, because that's what they were doing. And I still remember this, all I heard was him say, go get me the Sawzall. He was gonna, he was gonna cut the door down. <laughs> And I was like, I was, I was just sitting in the room, like just standing there, like a fucking statue, just <laughs> pretty much only in my shorts. I was like, uh, I'm gonna die. Like this, this man said, "Go get me the sawzall." I was just like, take the door off. Well, you was just gonna cut it. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> like a like a well, and, and well, then I hide in her closet after. Oh, that's you're not supposed to be there. Right? Yeah, I'm not supposed to be. There. I hide in her closet. I can hear him go. All right, we'll send. Uh, I don't know who it was. Well, it's one of her sisters. Send her in there and tell me, and she will look if someone's in there. So she doesn't really walk all the way in, but she walks in and goes, no, no one's in there. And I'm just sitting in a closet. Like, it's not even a big closet. Like, I have to, like, move her, like, shirts and everything over just for me to be hidden in it. Like, it's not big, whatever. I want to know what would happen if you had, if, like, they look in the closet and you just your head peeking out. I would have been like, what's up, dog? Like, I, I, I want to know what to do. Uh, and then uh, we try, like, obviously we had to get me out of there because why not? They got to get out. So I pretty much sprint to her car. She gets in her car. We start driving away. And I look to my left. I look out the back window and he's just standing there on the hill. <laughs> like he's staring at the car. And I was like, oh, this man seen me. There's no doubt about it. He did not see me. It was just, I just still think it's funny. Go get me the Sawzall. <laughs> like, he's just gonna, Go like... Go get me the Sawzall. Like, if he did have the Sawzall and he did cut down the door, I'm in there, like, you know, with my backpack and everything. I'm just like, I don't got a weapon. This man has the Sawzall. I'm gonna get cut to pieces. <laughs> but worst case, we would have had a good throwing hand story. True. But I don't think I would throw hands. No. Well, okay, maybe I would. 
If it had, if you had to, but if I had to, yes, I would throw hands with her dad. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I went, to, I went to my girlfriend's house without permission, and I just threw I, hands. I, I fought her dad. Yeah, I just threw hands with her dad. We're best friends. We had a beer together. No, no, it'd be more like he would try and kill me afterwards. After right, he had a gun, but I left. <laughs> I was gone. I was running. I was running through the woods like a true Mexican. Like I was gone. <laughs> After I threw hands, of course. I don't have any ghost stories. I've never snuck it. Well, I don't need to worry about sneaking out now. I'm fucking 18. I, I can well, that's that. different. You're 18. To like, we're both adults. We yeah. don't have to sneak out. I really do want to get that cross tattoo on me. Just now. The three crosses? I really do. I really want to get the same tattoo as someone. And three crosses. Right there. Yeah, I want to get that same one. Bet. Might have to. After uh, after we have Thanksgiving uh, dinner, we, we go to my brother's. Yeah. He's home. Oh. Is, is he not coming? Maybe no. Uh, That's a story for a different time. Yeah, we're at 37 minutes almost. I'd say we can call it good then. Yeah, we wanted to keep this short because we kind of have to be with our family. So we wanted to keep it short just as like a refresh because we're still here. Um, like, like we said, like it's going to, stuff like this going to happen. We're trying not, we're not going to, we're going to try not to have it be months apart. We're going to try, keyword. No, like the time that I'm most busy now is the time that we'll actually have podcasts. It's very, no, it's so stupid. Because I have almost no time anymore. Like I, the only time off I have is Sunday, same as Taco, but we'll try. Like, yeah, this we'll is try. Fun. We never get to talk as much as we do anymore. No, we know. I like doing it in person too. It's way better. Oh, yeah, yeah we're in person. Yeah, we're in person. We forgot <laughs> to tell you guys that. We're, we're all in person. My girlfriend, uh, Burrito, and I, Taco, are all in this room. Yeah, she's been given a really good massage to Taco's hand. Like, his hand is really good for driving. I got I to drive, you know, because Burrito's scared. <laughs> well, I'm not scared. I just don't want to take my car. He's scared. <laughs> No, <laughs> not anymore. Like I, like I was so like ignorant when because I, I was just starting to drive. I had no fucking clue what I was doing. Okay, wow. yeah, good story time. Uh, me and Burrito were. I think they hear the story. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. We we're playing Barbie Go. We went yeah, to we a were, ditch. We were, it's like I wore my cursed sweatshirt. We gotta make that. We gotta make that. Oh, cursed sweater. We will. If we can, we got to take a photo of it and put it up here so they can see the cursed sweater. Yeah, I'll, I'll listen over this again and try to put the key points. I know there's that picture of Don McToretto. Yeah, and then we got to show the cursed, cursed sweater. sweater. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's yeah, so that cursed sweater is... Every time I wear it, bad things happen. Like, I got... I also went in the ditch with it in my car on the way back from town. Like, it was fine. I drove to, I drove to Taco House, picked them up. We went to Walmart, got a bunch of stuff, came back. And, and then we went into a it's ditch funny, playing Barbie. I was going to take the highway back, but he wanted, but he wanted to go to. I wanted to my yeah, because I wanted to grab my charger or something like that. So that and then I think you had to give her something. I don't remember. Oh, oh yeah, we got our diet got donuts and, diet and donuts. Yeah, yeah. And that's so right. we had to go there. So I took the other way, which is, it's fun. It's it's regular highway road, and then it turns on the gravel. Yeah, but it's it's like the faster route. So we went. So I was on the gravel. We drove, got all that stuff. Then on my way to my house, we were driving, and then I was going too fast. I was going, and this was before I got new tires. Like my tires were pretty bad. Yeah, They're really bad street tires. Because I like I got my car recently, and like I said, I was ignorant. I didn't know. I didn't know with front wheel cars that you want to hit the pedals so you can get back on track. And I went around the corner. It was a big corner, and it's a I lost big... control because I was going too fast, and then I. Like pretty much, I overcorrected and I turned it too far, and then I just kept I kept fishtailing. And I seen the mailbox like I'm not hitting that fucking mailbox. I know. I'm yes. not so I dodged the mailbox, and then I, I kept going, and then I finally got and when I finally got in control, the ditch was right in front of me. Yeah, so I fell into the ditch, hit the fucking. If that log wasn't there, it would have been all. It yeah, been if there was no log, we would have been fine. <laughs> but then he stopped. I stopped, and it was it was pretty much mud there. And I was like, oh yeah. The second that. he stopped in the ditch, I just looked at him and said, drive. Dry. So I didn't get stuck. So I went I, I went up into over the ditch, and then back on the road. Luckily, no one was around. That was, yeah, that was that was so. Um, we just picked up the bumper, put it on there, shut shut the back of the <laughs> truck, and it stayed there. So I drove thirty all the way back, which it wasn't far. It was like three minutes you know it was it was for the first time i was smiling and when we flew like we're we're flying into this ditch i was smiling and everything 
when we hit the ditch. But the second we hit the ditch, he stopped, and I went straight face and was like, "Drive!" Like a <laughs> di- like it was like the most. Because like, we were both like this drive for some reason. We were both like just recollecting of what the fuck just happened. Yeah. I was like drive. I'm like, oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got up and over. Yeah. So. So like on that one, I wasn't, I wasn't purposely going fast. I was before. No, I was purposely going fast before, but I didn't slow down fast enough for me to get around yeah. the corner. Because I, had, I was gonna pretend like I was about to do something, but I wasn't gonna do it because I don't like to do that. So but, said, but we still went in anyways. But I did, and then I held the brake the whole time. So that's one reason why, like, I kept going. He was telling, but yeah, that won't happen again. Maybe on the ice, we'll see. If I feel generous enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like even now, like on my way home from. I don't know if it was practice or school, but it was after we got that big snowstorm. So it was like pretty. Oh crazy. yeah, that sucked. Recently, I literally had I literally when I went to turn from like twenty one on the my road, this road. Yeah. Um, it was completely icy there, like slushy, so I think it was slidey and I had no traction. So when I turned, I had no choice but to drift. So I was drifting that shit from going <laughs> sideways, and I finally got back on track. It was, I didn't try to, but that's just what happened. Yeah. And it was like okay, nice. <laughs> I said we call it, we call it. We were going to call it, but then yeah. we had to talk. Yeah. Yeah. We always do this. Yeah. Okay. This has been Burrito and Taco. Uh, thank you yeah. guys for listening. Make sure to subscribe. Tell somebody. That would be awesome. Get someone else on this. Just put some suggestions in the comments. Because we talk about anything. Yeah. We have a notebook with literally uh, gifs on there. So we can talk okay. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not my idea, but it's there. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> All right. So I'm Taco. And I'm... What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Hold up, right. hold up. You got me this time. I was going to say, and I'm Burrito, but I was like, hold up, hold up. All right, I'm Burrito. I'm Taco. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully with Tamale. Hopefully. Hopefully. Peace. Right. Peace.